Yo, welcome back to Bigo Vlogs. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've done a couple of times on TikTok already, obviously in the short format, so this is going to be a little bit longer. It is a day in the life of a private school groundsman. Uh, I'm just going to be bringing you to work with me, showing you what I do throughout the day, and then I'm going to be coming home and showing you what I do after work, really. Um, not really much else to it, so let's get into it. It's uh, quarter past six right now in the morning. I'm going to be heading to work. I'll get there about 6.30 and start at seven o'clock, so let's go. All right, so it's 7 a.m., about to start work. First thing I do in the day is get a bin and a rubbish pickup stick, walk around my designated areas, pick up all the rubbish from the previous day or the weekend, and then get the leaf blower out, give everything a good blow down, make sure it's all clean for the start of school, and then I start my day. This is the pitch that got used about eight days ago, Sunday last week. So today's Monday, it wasn't yesterday, the one before. Uh, it's recovered pretty well. The ryegrass and it's really bounced back. The pitch actually played pretty well considering the weather that we had and the conditions that I had to work with. But gonna give the gonna give the table a cut now. There's no game this week. Gonna start preparing this pitch again for another practice match, uh, probably later this week, Thursday or Friday, for the following weekend. Um, Yes, yeah, just going to give it a cut with the walk behind cylinder mower. It's set at 14 mil right now. Just going to cut it each pitch. Not going to stripe it up. Get some clippings, dry them out, and yeah, see how we go. I've just cut the wicket table at 14 mil. Uh, it's about 10 past nine now. I've got a meeting with the business manager. I do that every fortnight. Only going for about five or 10 minutes. We just discuss what's happened in the previous two weeks and if there are any projects coming up. Um, so I'll go have a chat with her and then head off to Coles, grab some smoko, have smoko and then come back and cut the ground maybe. I've just had my meeting with the business manager and I've gone to Coles to pick up some smoko. Got myself some ham and cheese crackers elite sort of stuff. I have these probably daily. <laughs> I know it's a little bit childish, but love it. Uh, got myself a Tamar Valley strawberries and cream yogurt. Again, one of the goat yogurts. Cute little mandarin. A uh, well above average banana. Got this freshly squeezed OJ. Unreal from Coles, these. And for lunch, picked myself up a 4 and 20 traveler pie, which I'll chuck in the pie warmer when I get down to the, to the lunchroom. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat that and get back out to the ground. Shoot. I've just finished having my smoko. It's quarter past 10 right now. Uh, I don't want to talk too much in this video, so what you're gonna see next is just me getting the mower ready to cut the oval, cut the ground, and then I'll probably get on the rough cutter, do a bit of surrounds, whip a snipping, have some lunch, and then uh, see where we're at. I've just had about a 15 minute lunch break and got a phone call from the council. They're coming to look at the stormwater drains that are all clogged up and that's the reason why the oval's been flooding lately. When we have big downpours of rain because the water goes into the stormwater and hits the blockage then just bounces right back and goes to the lowest point which is unfortunately the sports field. So they're coming to have a look at it today and then gonna come back tomorrow and unclog all those drains which is great because we're meant to be getting 45 to 50 mil of rain on Thursday. So hopefully it all works and we don't have any more floods. True. It's about 20 past one right now. Uh, just gonna get on this mower here. Um, not sure if you guys have seen this, but 
It's just a rotary mower with a catcher in the back. Just gonna get on this, go around to a few areas around the school, do a little bit of mowing. Uh, not sure if I'll be able to get some footage of this, but I'll try. Um, probably just gonna mow areas today, and then tomorrow just gonna brush cut the edges and uh, the perimeter of the, all the areas that I mow. Don't really have a lot of time today, so I'll just clean them up with the mower and then come back tomorrow and do that. Alright, so that's my work day done. It's 3 p.m. right now. I'm uh, just gonna drive downstairs to the basement, get a few things, and then head home. And I guess I'll talk to you guys then. Shoo! Right, hello. I'm back home now. Uh, I've gotten changed. I've got my boy Marshall here. Dally, my cat, he's over there, just chilling, doing cat things. I'm uh, just gonna head off to the dog park now. Give him a little bit of a run. Play with his ball. Go for a run with the ball. Go for a run with the ball. Go to the park with the park with the ball. Ball with the park with the park with the ball. Really? He loves it, so. Take him there for a little bit. Uh, come back. Might do a little bit of uh, video editing. Gotta make a TikTok. And I guess I'll start editing this video as well. Um, and then, yeah, I think I might go get a burger for dinner, actually, and do another burger review, followed by some 2K23. My TV is just there, my PS5. If you want to play with me, uh, add, my, uh, add me on the PSN or whatever it is. I, I don't even know, just comment below and I'll, I'll tell you my address. Um, like my username or whatever it is and you can add me and we can play some park or some rec together. Shoo! How good's having a dog? Low key, like, he's a bit needy. If I haven't taken him out within the first 15 minutes of getting home, he, he gets a bit shitty with me, but we do this every day. Come to the local oval, chuck his ball around, he goes crazy, gets swooped by magpies, but he loves it. Oh, he just got, <laughs> he just got swooped there. Marshall, he's getting swooped. No, he loves it. Oh, shoo. I'm fast as fuck, boy. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Only know you love her when you let her go. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. What? You don't like my singing? That's rude, as man. Inception. Anyway, while I'm editing this video, probably just gonna have some YouTube on in the background. I've got my uh, my regular people that I watch on YouTube. You got the Beta Squad, Sidemen, all the guys on Two Hype. Kind of just have them all on rotation, along with um, the guys from Through the Wire, so like Kenny Beecham and stuff. NBA podcasters, NBA like 2K gamers and stuff like that. They're the type of people I watch on YouTube. A little bit of Mr. Beast here and there. Arak. Um, yeah, if you guys know any of them comment that you watch them too because I don't know am I the only one that watches those guys 
Anyway, gonna edit this video a little bit more. Um, watch some YouTube, like I said, play some 2K, and then go get this burger. So I've just been to Butler's Smokehouse in Clayton and I've picked myself up a mango white chocolate thick shake as well as the burger that's in here. It's called the Sheriff's Choice. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, but first up, gotta be trying out this thick shake. Like I said, mango white chocolate. Yeah, highly rate it. Strong mango flavor, which is good. You can actually taste the mango, unlike the last burger review I did. Um, just a subtle white chocolate flavor, which is not the worst thing. Uh, I'll give that a solid 7.9 out of 10. Now let's get into this burger. This is called the Sheriff's Choice. Double beef, double cheese, Grilled onion, beetroot mayonnaise, uh, grilled mushroom, and American barbecue. So, see there. Oh, she's stuck, boy. And there you can see the onion, the beetroot mayo, the cheese, the double beef, a bit of lettuce. And, yeah. Oh, it looks good. It smells good, looks good. Clayton, not really known for its burger scene, but. I mean, got to start somewhere, so let's get into it. It's soft, like the bun's soft, the meat is soft. <laughs> it's cooked pretty well. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it, like the burger itself. I can't taste any of the mushrooms, I can't taste any of the sauce. I'm really just getting like the beef flavor and a little bit of barbecue sauce. Um, there's another one. I want it to be good. It looked like it's not bad. I don't know why I'm having a bad run of burgers at the moment, but it just needs something more. Like, for the amount of ingredients and different flavors it's got in there with the barbecue sauce and the beetroot mayonnaise, the mushrooms, the double cheese, it, it's, it's just, it's missing something. I don't know if it's, they're just using the wrong sort of ingredients, but who am I to judge? I'm not, really, I'm not a food connoisseur. I worked at fucking KFC when I was 16 for a couple of years. That's the closest to a burger reviewer or a burger creator. I've been. I do cook my own burgers at home sometimes. Um, and a lot of you are probably thinking, this dude eats like shit. Like, you saw my smoker, you saw my lunch, and now he's eating my dinner. <coughs> Yo! <I> just <coughs> Karma. Bit of bread just going on the back of my throat. Um, I don't actually eat like this all the time. Only when I'm doing videos, like for TikTok or here, YouTube, do I eat more exotic sort of things. Uh, usually I cook dinner myself. Tofu, um, not a vegetarian or a vegan, but I like to cook a tofu <coughs> butter chicken, as well as just like your standard spaghetti bolognese, so I have leftovers for the next day, but all right, let's get back to this burger. First two bites, wasn't really anything special. Uh, off rip, probably, I don't even remember what the last burger I had got. It's slightly better than the last burger. Um, I'm gonna give it a, Oh, six, six point three, and that might be being generous. The thick shake definitely brings up the overall score of the whole order, but as for the burger itself, six point three, thick shake. I think I gave it like a seven point nine. I can't really remember, but yeah. Uh, also, I'm gonna call it quits here. Once I finish this burger, I'm gonna keep reviewing 
this video, editing it and getting it ready to post. So you won't be seeing much more of me in this video. Just wanna say thanks for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe as well, and leave a comment if you enjoyed this and tell me what you wanna see more of. Thanks for watching.